All right, first we're gonna power on the laptop just to show you the damage on the screen. There you go. It's got uh, a lot of problems with the screen, so that's what we're gonna replace. I'm gonna power it off, close it, and then I'm just gonna unplug the power. And let's take out the battery. We're just gonna flip the switch right here. Flip the switch, battery comes right out. And we've got it flipped back over, and we're gonna open this up so that we can get access to the front of the LCD panel. There's one there and one there. They're rubber stoppers, they're protectors for the screws. So we're gonna take those out. My tool of choice today is the X-Acto knife. You can use the small screwdriver, which I've also noted in the tools, recommended tools. So we're just gonna take this one out and take out the next one. There it is. And there's the second one. And we're just going to take out the two screws, the one on the left. And now we're going to go for the one on the right. Okay, now we've got the laptop right side up. I've got this box here. I'm just going to put it in the back of the LCD panel just to keep it in place while we're working on the LCD. So now that we've got the laptop open, we're going to take off the LCD frame. We're going to use a pry bar for that. So we're going to go around all four sides and just pry it open. The pry bar will slide right underneath the uh, the frame, so it'll just kind of you'll feel it click, 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 click as you go around, and then the frame will come right off any second. There we go, and just set that off to the side. Now we're going to remove four screws. Those are the four. We're just going to fast forward this. Okay, now we just bring our fingers up here, lift it up, and kind of lean it down a little bit. You don't want to go slow because there's the video cable behind it. It's attached with some uh, foil tape. So you want to try to you know obviously unstick that uh, that tape I'm just using an exacto knife only to lift up the tape a little bit so I can get my finger in there to lift it up just like that okay and un unstick all the tape and when you lift up the tape there's gonna be a connector underneath it's like a tan video connector there it is Okay. Sometimes uh, on mine there looked to be a cable that was or a little wire on that connector that looked broken, but it wasn't broken. It was fine. So I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife here just to push the connector, help push the connector off of the socket. That's all I'm doing, and it came out. So now we can lift up a little bit of extra stick there. Now we can lift up the LCD, and that is okay. Now we're getting the new LCD part looks good and we're just gonna lay it down face down and hold it up just a little bit just so that we can get the video connector you know connected properly it's a little tough because it's you know you got some sticky tape there but um, you just yeah, push it in then make sure the tape is sticking in the correct place as you Lean the LCD up. Fits pretty good. I think the tape needs a little bit more more pressure on it. Okay. Yep. Just to make sure you don't want the tape loose. So the LCD looks like it fits good. So now I'm just going to take the tape off of the front of the panel. And then we'll take this protective film off. Film is now off. All right, now that the screen's in, we're going to put those four screws back in, and we're just going to fast forward it here. OK, 
Okay, now that's all screwed in, we're gonna take the LCD frame and just press it back into place. And now for the two screws on the front LCD panel. I'm gonna use my driver on this one because I've got that torque setting that uh, works really well. With low torque, just so that you don't strip the plastics or you know strip the screw head. All right, and finally, we're just gonna put the two rubber protectors back on those two screws. And let's plug it in and give it a test. Powering it on. All right, it posts up. I'm going into the BIOS. Everything looks fine. There's no dead pixels, nothing. It's perfect and it was actually very easy. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this HP EliteBook 8460P LCD replacement tutorial by me, Janzik, on every PC solution.